Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we're here to do a week ahead for the first week of April. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This week we're going to use the Celtic Cross, but it's going to be the only time I do that right now. I mean, I'm just doing it for this segment and then I'm going back to my regular spread. Um, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead. What do we got? It's just good to change things up once in a while, right? It is. It is. What do we got for Libra? So your challenge is taking action to follow your dreams, right? Wish fulfillment. You know, your challenge is taking action, you know. You, you, do you want to keep thinking about it or do you want to take action? That's the question. There is an opportunity for wish fulfillment. Happiness, abundance. But somebody may need to take action. <laughs> This could also be somebody that is coming into your life really quickly and you don't know if you want it or not. That could certainly be the case. Oh, they're just a flipping, aren't they? Now it tells me I should just keep going. Oh my goodness. So you guys are have been really determined, right? You've been you're really, really, really determined to hold on to something, right? You are. You got a lot of strength and you've gained strength and you've gained some wisdom. But, <laughs> there's always a but. There's something that needs to be let go of right here. I mean, <sighs> you could be holding on to something that's not practical, it's not wise. You got a lot of wisdom in there, but you guys are like holding on to something that is not practical. We could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But, you know, whatever it is that you're holding on to, it's hindering your wish fulfillment. It is. You could be holding on to a player. Maybe you're holding on to the hope of an apology from somebody. Or for somebody to send you a message. You may be holding on to that hope. Oh, my goodness. But there's like whoever, whatever this is, there's like somebody's not putting in effort. Somebody is not working on it. They're not wanting to make something work and therefore you guys are stuck you're stuck this is being stuck mm. oh you need to come up with a new plan the overall outcome is really come up with a new plan you do maybe you guys need to refocus and you're not doing that i don't know I mean, this is refocus replan it's reversed you may be going through some sort of midlife crisis right now and, you know, you need to progress forward. You need to master your emotions, but you're not. This is not finding the strength, not finding the ability, the discipline, and the ability to take control. You're not taking the reins. You have to take the reins. You're the boss. If you don't, you know, take the reins, then, hey. Whew. So it feels as though you guys are thinking about doing something. You've come a long way. You've made a lot of progress. You have. But somebody isn't making a right decision because they're hoping for something. They're hoping for a new opportunity they're with somebody or they're hoping for an apology. Or they're hoping for a message from somebody that has played them. And they're still holding on to it. Or like holding on. This is my player card. Somebody's holding on to a player. stuck this is the future stuck somebody is stuck and there's an opportunity for happiness here there's an opportunity for a rebirth there's opportunity for growth somebody I think that you guys are hoping to find happiness with somebody that you are stuck on Here, here, it's like you're probably, you know, you probably have your guard up. 
It's like you've made a decision and you're not going to budge, right? You've made a decision and you are not going to budge. It's like you... You know what you want, right? You do know what you want. But, <laughs> look what's right underneath it, the Queen of Cups. You know, you need, to, you need to nurture yourself. You need to take care of yourself. You need to love yourself. You need to love yourself. This is, this is the approach you're supposed to take. Love yourself. You deserve love. This woman is hard to love. She's cold and she's detached. Let somebody love you that deserves your love. There's an opportunity for happiness if you refocus. I think you guys are focusing your energy on something. You're holding on to something that you don't need to hold on to anymore. That's what it looks like to me. Whew. You need to put in effort in the future, not the past. Stop focusing on the past. Focus on the future. There's lack of discipline here. There's lack of mastering emotions when you need to master your emotions and cut things and people out of your life that don't respect you. You deserve happiness. You deserve wish fulfillment. We're going to go back around. The challenge is taking action. The challenge is moving out of a situation that, you know, is not practical. Um, but you guys are not, you're blocking. It's like you're blocking, you're not taking the lead, you're not, you're not doing it. So I see you guys being stuck this week in some sort of crisis mode over, you know, where your happiness lies. And I feel like right now you're definitely going back and forth in between, you know, cutting this out or following your heart or whatever. I think it's a very emotional time. I do. I think that you guys are really emotional at this time. And you, you may be... <clears throat> We're going to get some more cards. We're just going to go back around and see what I can get. Yeah, you guys are holding on to somebody who's not emotionally available to you. You are. You're holding on to somebody who doesn't... They may not be in love with you. I'm sorry. And you know, you need to, and you may be, you may, may, may be, have been going through a time of recuperation for a long time. You know, you've been waiting and waiting and thinking perhaps you could manifest this happiness back or this person would come back. I think that you guys have been through a long period of healing, but you just can't give up and you need to give up. You need to give up on this, and on waiting, whatever that is. Oh. God, you're not being honest with yourself about something. You don't know your worth. Son of a gun. So I really feel as though right now you guys are probably, you keep looking back. You keep looking back at somebody that um, has hurt you. I feel as though you are very conflicted with letting this person go. I feel as though you may receive some some message from somebody on the outside or some sort of communication that this person has moved on, that they've played you. You know that they played you. I know that you do. You don't want to believe it. I feel as though um, you're waiting on communication. You are. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for communication. And you're going to receive some sort of communication, but it may not be what you want to hear. It's not what you want to hear. Okay? So I feel like you're dealing with somebody that um, may not be emotionally invested in you and you may be emotionally invested in them. Fact of the matter is, is that you are worth love and you need, you do, you do, you are worth love. You need to value yourself. You need to have self-respect. I feel like you guys are still holding on to some pain. You're still holding on to some pain. It's time to release that pain. It's time for you to receive a blessing. you got to know your worth. And you may not know your worth, Libra. You may not. You could be dealing with somebody who was very controlling and manipulative and selfish. And you're still letting them control you by holding on to them. Oh my goodness gracious. It's time for you to love yourself and know what you're worth. You deserve a blessing and you have a blessing waiting for you. But you need to pass some sort of test first and you need to be practical. You need to cut out whoever it is that 
doesn't have anything to offer you. I think there's somebody in this mix that needs to be cut out of your life that, you know, came into your life to test your worth and you may not see it that way. But, you know, you're dealing with somebody who doesn't have anything to offer you and it's like you need to cut them out. You need to be practical here. You need to be wise. You need to be logical. And it's time for you to make a firm decision to not play this game anymore. Some of you are dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You have all the signs here. There's an opportunity for you to be happy, okay? There's an opportunity for you to heal from this situation, and I think that you are healing. I think that you are going through a period of healing right now. You're probably re redefining yourself. I think that you are needing to find the courage to allow a new beginning, um, You need to find discipline. You need to find the discipline to not look back. Stop looking back, I'm telling you right now, because all that's doing is hindering your growth. I think that you guys have made a lot of progress, but there's a lot of ups and downs here. I think that um, you are still hoping for communication from somebody who played you. There's no doubt about it. You're dealing with a player here. You will definitely have a player in the mix here. And I feel like you guys have been dishonest with yourself, and you still are. I, st I think that you still are being a little bit dishonest with yourself. This is lack of truth. This is lack of taking back your power, lack of taking the lead. You know, I feel like you guys are needing to seriously find the discipline to master your emotions at this time and cut out people that do not respect you. could be dealing with a fire sign as well, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The overall outcome is to find your confidence. Find your confidence. This is a midlife crisis. I think some of you are needing to really be strong here. Find your discipline. Refocus. Refocus, 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 refocus. This is the king of focus. This is needing to refocus. Refocus. Refocus, Libra. Um... I really, really feel like you guys may be going through a very chaotic time right now. I think that things are probably unbalanced. Whew, you're going to have to really focus on bringing balance to your life. Take a step. Take a step in the right direction. I think some of you have went backwards. It's like two steps forward, three steps back. I feel like you guys were, were making good progress and you've taken a step back. And now you need to really regain your focus and come out of this crisis mode that you've put yourself back in. I feel as though, you know, you may have been rejected by somebody and it has hurt your ego. I mean, and I'm not saying that you, just you. I mean, everybody's ego gets hurt with rejection. And you're going to have to find that strength to, you know, overcome it. I think somebody has made a, you know poor decision to look back and now they're all in their feelings you know they're all in their feelings and you know now you have to wake up this time to release the judgment is release it really is you know it is and i know that you guys probably want to hear that this is a reconciliation because that's what our hearts want to hear right that's what our hearts want to hear but if you were to look up the judgment card for real it is about releasing it's about forgiving you think about judgment day you go up there and you release and you forgive and you move on. It's absolution. It's a time of acceptance. Accept what is. You can't go back. It's time to wake up. This is a wake up call. So anyway, I feel as though you are probably going to receive a message from somebody or something that you don't want to hear that somebody has moved on, really moved on. And I feel as though, you know, it's really going to get you in your emotions. It's going to get you upset. You're probably going to be very emotional time. I think it is. I do. I think it's going to be an emotional time. And you're going to need to find your strength to persevere, you know, and know your worth. And seriously know your worth. And we have somebody here that doesn't, okay? You need, to, you need to protect your heart. You need to work on your heart. You need to allow blessings into your life. Okay? Um, I think that you are a very beautiful soul and you may not know it. <laughs> you may not. It's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to release. It's time for you to accept. It's time for you to forgive. I feel as though you have an opportunity for happiness here. A lot of happiness. But 
you're going to have to find the strength and the courage and the confidence to let go. That's what this card is. So I feel like you guys are going to be making a decision to let go of somebody in your life that wasn't no longer invested. Somebody somebody is is moving on. And I feel like you are going to have to, you know, deal with the, the pain that you may have not wanted to deal with. Um, anyway, let's get a few more cards. I feel like you're going to receive some sort of truth. There you are, some sort of truth, some sort of truth, some sort of revelation, some sort of epiphany. Something's going to help you to, to move in a new direction. This is the King of Cups. This is somebody who has really good intentions. I think we have somebody that is going to communicate with you that has really good intentions, and, and you're going to have to make a choice. Okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to let go of the past? Are you ready to let this person help you? Are you ready to let somebody love you? Oh, my gosh. I got the goosebumps. So you guys deserve it. You may not know what you deserve. You may lie to yourself. Oh no. You guys may hold on to a karmic situation when you have a new offer of love. You may lie to yourself and think that you don't deserve it, but I'm telling you, I'm here to tell you you do do deserve it. I think that you guys um are, are not wanting to accept the truth of a completion. I mean, that's what this is. You have a new you have a new opportunity for love here. You do. But you're holding on to something that doesn't serve you. And you need to relocate and invest and plant your seeds someplace else. Stop. Let go. Let go of the third party situation. It's time for you to live again. It really is. I feel as though some of you are bitter and resentful because you were taken advantage of by another person and it's time to just swallow your pride and be happy again. You have an opportunity, a chance on love with somebody else and that's what this is. That is exactly what this is. It's time to stop putting in effort and stop looking back and stop thinking you're going to get together with the one that abused your love. There's no coming together with that person. That person, I think, has moved on and it's time for you to accept it. Let go of your bitterness. Let go of your resent. Swallow your pride and get unstuck. Stop sacrificing yourself needlessly. Let go of the player. You know who it is. It's time for you to forgive, accept. You have a new opportunity here. It could be with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But you're going to need to find the strength to master your emotions and stop looking back. You deserve to be loved. Stop blocking the truth. Block this person so that you can't look at them. If that's what you need to do to heal. Somebody's been in denial and it's time to take that blindfold off and choose another option. So Libra, I feel like this is a week of you hopefully finding the strength and the courage to go after happiness, forgive and release, and come out of this crisis that you've been in. Happiness. I told you, go after happiness. A happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path.
make a decision and stand by it. Stop holding on to the one that is not emotionally available to you. You have another opportunity for love. Take it. Could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be we have everybody here. It doesn't matter. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be loved. Swallow your pride and go after happiness, please. It's time. It's time for it's time for you to heal. You've made a lot of progress. Don't look back, please. That's what I got.